Hello again, everybody. Um, one of the questions I see quite a lot on um, forums and reddits is all about feeding. When should I feed my ants? What should I feed my ants? And those type of questions. Now, I know I've done videos on this before, but what I thought I'd do today is I'd do a video to explain why the ants want the certain foods that they do want and what those foods are doing for the ants. Um, now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to keep this very basic ants, very simple, so that you can understand the reasonings behind things. Now, this will mean that I will use some analogies um, to explain to you how it works, and those analogies will be good for you to understand how things are working, but won't necessarily be absolutely scientifically correct, um, if that's the way you want to look at it. So please don't um, use some of these answers in your biology exams because you may fail. Um, so yes, as I've said before, ants want three foods and this is what the foods are actually doing. So let's start with the sugar. Sugar is a carbohydrate um, and what that is, is it's energy it's locked up stored energy. Um, so what is energy? Well, the scientific definition of energy is the ability to do work. So the ability to do something, whether that something is running around like a crazy ants going in this hot weather, mine are running around like mad. Um, so moving, it could be actually growing, just getting bigger, growing, the process of growing takes energy. It can be just living. You need energy to carry out your biological functions. Just to be alive requires energy. Um, and carbohydrate is energy. It's stored energy that um, bodies, alive things, break that down and turn it into the energy they need to do things. So that's why you're feeding your ants sugar. The ants need sugar to like I said, run around. The larvae need some sugar to grow. Um, and if they don't have carbohydrates or sugars, they won't be able to do anything. Their, their bodies will stop working because they won't be able to carry out their biological processes and that would eventually kill them. So that's what the sugars are doing. The second thing that you then feed your ants is proteins. This is your dead insects, your meats, your cheeses, your eggs. Um, your fish, all of those type of things that you'll see people feed. Proteins are the building blocks of life. We are made of proteins. Um, ants are made of proteins. Strings of proteins are what make us what we are, what makes life what it is. And therefore, to make a new thing, you need protein to go in and be formed into the form of whatever it is that you're trying to make. So that is why predominantly the larvae are wanting the protein. They are in the growing stage. They're going from that tiny little egg that the queen first lays up to a full-sized worker ant. And that basically means that the larvae is stacking these blocks of protein on top of each other and forming these proteins into these long strings to form itself into the adult ant. Now, as I've said before, uh, the adult ants need a tiny little bit. Um, cells in living things deteriorate over time and die and living things replace the dying cells so you have this cell regeneration process that goes on throughout a life and therefore the adult ants need a tiny little bit of protein just to replace the dying cells but because they're no longer growing because they're no longer getting any bigger they don't need lots of protein. And then the final thing, which I talk about a lot, is water. Um, and basically, all living things, again, we are actually made mostly of water. These cells and stuff that I'm talking about are mostly sacs that contain a lot of water. And the other stuff that I'm talking about is fairly minimal. And they, they just don't work if they're not um, in their little sort of bath of water. So everything needs water, needs to stay hydrated. 
And because of the shape of an ant, it's quite long and thin. It has a lot of surface area in comparison with its internal area. And that means it's very prone to losing water um, and drying out. And that's called desiccation. And desiccation is one of the surest and quickest ways to kill an ant colony. Whenever I see colonies that have just dropped dead in the space of a few days or a week, that would be the first question I would always ask. Did they have enough water? And so that is why water is an essential thing that you must also feed your ants. So yeah, I hope this has sort of explained the reason behind the foods, why they want the things they want, and therefore when to feed certain foods. So for example, when you're coming out of hibernation, um, the very first thing they want is more energy because they've been in hibernation for three months, three and a half months, and they've, they've, they've depleted all their stocks. And if they want to get active and start doing things for the new year, they're going to want energy. Therefore, the very first thing they want is a sugar feed. And it's not, for example, coming out of hibernation until they start to lay new eggs and the larvae start to grow again, that they would need protein to start those protein chains that they build to form the, the new ants. So yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea, like I said, of why ants want the certain foods and therefore when to feed them certain foods and why they need all three types of food for a successful colony. Thank you for watching everybody. Until next time, goodbye.